Last week we planned to set off on our first overnight passage from Rhodes to Crete, but we didn't quite make it there as we got stuck in the middle of some pretty heavy weather. In this week's episode, we continue on our journey towards Crete from the island of Kapathos. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies, travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. since about I've been up since about 6 30 Jason's been up since like 6 getting ready to go um, we weren't planning on leaving until like 9 I think it's about 8 o'clock now so we're gonna leave a little bit earlier and see what it's like out there it looks okay from here um, but we were thinking maybe it'd be like a little bit rough till 9 o'clock still but um yeah if we leave too much later we might end up having to motor some of the way or most of the way because it'll calm down too much so we do want to catch a little bit of wind and hopefully it'll push us there. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's not like yesterday because we were so exhausted last night. Um, and it was a little bit rolly in this anchorage and obviously like, oh, there was a bit of wind tunnel tunneling through kind of between like the rocks over there where it dips down. So I was just like paranoid all night. I was so tired, um, but I kept waking up. It was kind of like I was, not fully asleep so I wasn't dreaming but like my mind was just like imagining every time the boat was rolling it felt like we were kind of bashing into the waves like we were yesterday so I kind of kept like suddenly waking up out of my sleep and then every time the wind would blow I'd wake up and check out the window so yeah I didn't have the best sleep but anyway um we've got like 12 13 hours ahead of us today so fingers crossed it's a little bit nicer and yeah we'll be in Crete tonight so that'll be exciting and then we'll have a few days um, just to get a few things and chill out a little bit before our friends get here on Monday. So yeah, it should be exciting. So fingers crossed nothing breaks today. Um, Jason was saying he's like, the boat was like crying yesterday. Like it started squeaking and making funny noises all the time when it would bash into the waves. So it had had enough. Anyway, hopefully today's nice. Hopefully we don't get bashed around too much today. Well, we're going 6.7 miles overground. So yeah, we left from like up here and we're going in here. So it's quite a big, quite a big passage. <laughs> knots of wind um, we had a little bit less before but Jason's been setting up the what's it called what's the sail called again cruising shoot the cruising shoot 
so we've never had we've never actually gotten it up before we attempted once and then the wind picked up and you can only use it in light winds so um, Jason's just trying to set it all up with the lines and we'll attempt to get it up it's green and blue lime green and blue <laughs> So it should look pretty cool if we get it up and hopefully we'll pick up a little bit of speed we're doing around about 4.8 knots speed over ground so not too bad but it'd be nice to get another knot so we'll see how we go also today is like Stunning compared to yesterday. The swell is like obviously it's not super flat, but it's so much more comfortable. The sun's out, it's nice and warm, even though I know I'm all dressed in this clothing, the breeze is still a bit fresh, but yeah, it's amazing so far. I could even like go down and cook, it's really not pushing us around too much. We get like the odd wave that kind of pushes the boat sideways, but so nice compared to yesterday. So fingers crossed like the entire day is pretty similar to this. I know it might pick up at some points, but um, yeah, very happy. And now we've decided to go to close to Vey Beach on Crete, which is um, actually a little bit closer. So it should take off an hour or two off our passage. So we could get there between, I don't know, anywhere between six and eight tonight. Um, and then we'll go to Vey Beach tomorrow, which has Europe's largest palm tree forest just behind the beach. Um, I think I read there's like 5,000 palm trees, so it'll be really cool to see actually. Um, in the 60s, 70s, it used to be like a hippie kind of beach, so yeah, it should be cool. This dark way Probably had the best sail we've ever done on on route to Crete. Um, we've had I don't know maybe 12 to 17 knots pretty much the whole way, same direction from the north. And yeah, it's, it's literally been magical. We've um, we got the cruising shoot up at one stage when the wind died down slightly, which was good fun and it was broken so we had to fiddle around with it a bit but yeah we're not far from Crete now we're about I'd say three nautical miles and you can see it right in front of us we've also been doing maybe on average six knots I'd say we've got up to eight and a half nine knots some stages and probably as low as four, so it's been it's been really good. We have made it almost 
to Crete. Land all around us. Is this great? This is great. Are you sure? This looks like brown green hills at the moment. <laughs> There's another boat over there, I just noticed it. Yeah, I noticed it before. But yeah, we had such a nice sail today. Like no dramas, nothing nothing bad happened. We didn't get hit by a big wave. We didn't no, get the, really big gusts of wind. The, um, the, the cruising chute furling line snapped off. Oh, but like you noticed, noticed before Talk too soon, eh? What was that? I don't know, but it's gone funny. Can you... Are we going into a shallow patch or something? I don't know, the thing's lost the plot. Oh no, we're all good now. <laughs> oh my god. The, the thing went off. Yeah, nice. That makes sense. <laughs> Navigation and autopilot. So yeah, anyway, we still have 15 minutes to go, so anything could happen. But <laughs> we're nearly at our anchorage, so, and it's like 6.30, I think. It is, yeah, 6.23. So we made really good time today. Yeah, I can't complain. So we'll go um, to the beach tomorrow with all the palm trees to check it out. So hopefully this anchorage is protected enough. We shall see when we get there. Best sale, yeah. Yeah. It's nice here too. There's even palm trees over there. You guys probably can't see it because it's bright, but. Palm trees and local Croatian trees. <laughs> and bush. It looks so like windswept. Every time we do a big passage. She's far. Yep. <laughs> my lips are dry, my hair's everywhere. Anyway. Time for a cocktail and yeah. dinner and an actual meal which I don't know how much of an actual meal it's going to be but we haven't had a meal in a long time good morning good morning Jason has cleaned the entire boat I couldn't believe it when I woke up <laughs> yeah someone's asleep and, and the other person's doing all the work oh, oh okay is that how it is, is how <laughs> anyway it is Technically Easter weekend in Australia, not in Greece, that's next weekend, but we're going to have a special Easter brekkie. We used to love having our brekkies at home, so we're having halloumi, bacon. It is actually Good Friday, so normally we wouldn't eat meat, even though we're not really religious. We oh, just kind of do it. Fish. Should I go fishing? <laughs> not for breakfast. I don't think there's many fish around here. We, we had the rod out for like eight hours yesterday to catch a thing. Yeah. Not even a and that was like fully out in the ocean, like a crossing. I was hoping for a mahi mahi or something. You wish. Anyway, we haven't had bacon in so long because we've been in Turkey for like five months. We only had, I think, bacon like twice while we were there because you can go to some places and have like an English brekkie. And eggs. And tomatoes for breakfast. So we're actually using this thing because we've run out of gas, so lucky we have it. <laughs> we've been out of gas for like a the week. last week, haven't we? Over a week, I think. Anyway, they didn't. we didn't have anywhere that we could get it on in Lindos Roads, and we tried to get it when we were in the city, and because it was a oh my God. Saturday afternoon, everything was closed. What's so. that way? It's awkward now. Look at the saddle over it. Yeah, it's a freaky baby. Look. We can make this sail all the way to that sail base tonight. You know Not 
rather nice this day today. It's been a little bit windy, which we didn't really expect, and the wind's quite fresh, so it's a little bit cold out here. Um, but we just moved anchorages to the beach that we want to go and visit. We've moved 10 meters. <laughs> yeah, we didn't move very far. We were literally like just over there and now we've come here. So yeah, not the most amazing weather. It would have been really nice if it was sunny and warm to go here, but we're gonna go and check it out anyway. Yeah, it's way warmer here, isn't it? Like, out of the wind. It's really cool. Yeah, that's us. Behind the rock. Legend has it that a long, long time ago, African pirates were shipwrecked on Vi Beach. They spent their days eating dates and tossing the seeds to the ground. From the seeds, palm trees then sprouted and grew into the massive palm tree forest you can see today.